So, here we go then. Portugal against Manchester United. I'm John Champion and providing analysis alongside me is our expert Jim Beglin. The central characters standing tall for the national anthem. Underway. Portugal against Manchester United. Miguel Veloso. Here's Van Persie. Nani. Varela has got hold of. He tried going it alone, but without success. Oh, well defended. Cleverly, Raphael Van Persie can go on the break if he can be found. Nani, Varela, Ferdinand is there to intercept. He takes him out and the referee awards a free kick. Manchester United have this free kick. Rooney! The keeper puts it behind. Oh, he went for the curler. Gets the ball in a nice position. Pepe. Cristiano Ronaldo, he's on the ball, where's he taking it? Now the chance! Once more a chance! Cleverly plays it long. Valencia. Raul Morales. Varela. Cristiano Ronaldo has got it. Chance for a shot! Crosses. Too much power in that. Carrick. Now through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's cleared. The ball played into the box, but met by no one in the end. Evra. Over the line for a throw-in. He wants to get a cross-in from here. You have to admire that control. Tries with his head. Well struck. 
Really good try, but no goal. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Miguel Veloso. Varela. Here's Nani. Neatly played. Nani. Another attempt. Good clearance there. Long ball forward. And there is half time. Neither side has managed the goal. It's nil nil. So the second half kicks off. Break is on. Maybe now. And the chance accepted with some aplomb. And the game finally comes to life in the second half. De Gea maybe was unsighted by his own defence though. Just look at the way the ball sneaked through that defensive line. And I don't think he could pick it up until it was way too late. So, we resume at 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth a treat. You got the man there, that's a free kick. João Moutinho. Here's Barella. That's not going to make it through. Carrick. Evra. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. A similar chance and a similar outcome. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. Miguel Veloso, who's just added his name to the score sheet. Nani. Miguel Veloso, whose goal-scoring skills have already been seen. Well, he just ran down the cul-de-sac then, no wonder he lost the ball. He's not taking any risks there. He did well to get it. What next? Evra. Cleverly. Nani. Going forward. Out towards the corner flag. He stayed up for this pass. Now a chance for a cross from the flank. Nani exhibiting his defensive capabilities. We know all about him as an attacker, but there are two sides to his game. Well, they say that your front lad should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Play surges forward. Van Persie shoots. Referee points to the spot. Penalty given. He doesn't seem to be injured, he should be back up again soon. The keeper doing his level best to put him off. He makes no mistake in drawing them level. It was never in doubt. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. So, we resume with the scores. A foul, a fairly easy decision for the referee. Miguel Veloso, Raul Morales on the ball. Within range! Nani. João Pereira. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, with the team's level now, possession is everything for him. He can't keep giving it away. Nani. Dumps it long. 
Long ball over the top. Still in there! Portugal have scored. Is this it? Has that won it for them? I'm afraid that one's down to the goalkeeper. Yeah, his instinct told him that the keeper would struggle to cope with that. So, the top marks from following up. I think uh, it's, it's really sharp play. It was well read. And he was a little quicker than everybody else. They have their lead now. But can they? So, there it is. And that concludes today's contest. You can see what it means to the players coming out on top in what's been a very emotional, tightly contested battle. Well, how enjoyable was that? I love it when you get two teams giving it everything they've got.